Bam. This is a follow-up for you on a cochlear implant patient who was born congenitally deaf, was not hearing at all. Fascinating. Hey, hello. good to see you guys. Yeah. Show them how you smile for the camera at home. <laughs> He's going to be serious. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Give us a little update because we, we saw him right off right out the shoot when he was born. Yeah, so he just turned four. Yeah. He's up to five word sentences and has approximately 175 words in vocabulary. Nice. We were just talking about all the colors out in the waiting room so, and all of his colors. So let's see here. What color is that? You're gonna be shy. Yeah. What color, bud? Can you tell me some of these colors? How about the roof? Green. That is, yeah. And this tree? Green. That is green. green. How about her dress? Yellow. Yellow, Yellow. that's right. <laughs> okay. Whoa, what's that? Horse. That is a horse. I don't know what. What's she eating? Berries, you're right. She is eating berries. So go ahead and explain how this is working. So cochlear implants start with the, I'm going to take this off bud, um, start with the surgery where they go in behind the ear and they put on a little um, magnet underneath which this connects to. The minute this connects to the ear, so when this is off he can't hear anything. The minute this connects all the electrodes start working with the little wire that's wrapped into his cochlea or I should say tubing that's wrapped in there, which starts um, amplifying the sound. So as soon as that goes off, he can't hear anything. Wow. The minute that magnet's on, it is just hear? a magnet. Wow. Wow. He's, he's hearing. It takes several months and several appointments in audiology to get him up to a typical hearing decibel. Mm -hmm. In his case, it took over a year and a half. Why is that? Um, he had an issue with the electrodes where the impedance changes. So as he learns to tolerate sound, some will move up, some will move down. Mm -hmm. So the frequency of the sound is continually changing, which is why you need so many appointments. And for him, he had a rough journey on that left ear of the impedance constantly changing. Mm -hmm. So certain sounds would just trigger him and startle uh. him and scare him. But once we disconnected a few electrodes and got both ears working in the same, um, same tune. He's he's been good. The last year and a half, he's done nothing yeah. but excel. So his pronunciation is quite good. You guys, big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and thanks to this guy for sharing his journey with us.